Mankind has indeed made a lot of progress over the last couple of centuries. Ever since the Industrial Revolution ended in 1820, infrastructure in most places of the world have improved by leaps and bounds. This includes the roads and highways built to connect various villages, towns and cities. While some of these are unbelievable pieces of architecture with 8 lanes or more either side and smooth surfaces, some of these are barely drivable with narrow lanes and potholes making the ride almost a free roller coaster. So let's look at some of the most dangerous roads around the world that have unfortunately claimed many lives and where one needs to be extremely alert and cautious. The Road of Death, Bolivia Well, with a name like that, one would be a fool not to exercise extra care on that one. This road connects the Bolivian capital La Paz to Coroico. On average, the road claims 200 to 300 lives in a year. Over a 38-mile stretch, the elevation drops from around 15,000 feet at La Paz to 3,900 feet at the other end. It's quite a narrow road, with barely one lane covering a two-way street. Rain and fog makes the visibility a challenge, with rain covering the roads with mud. The icing on the cake is that there are no guardrails to protect. So a 2,000 foot drop over the cliff is a clear and present danger. As if that's not enough, there are some astounding sights of the Amazon rainforest to distract you as well. Los Caracoles Pass, Chile This pass connects the capital of Chile, Santiago, with Mendoza in Argentina. The road has nightmarish twisting hairpin bends spiraling down the steep inclines of the Andes. When passing through the Christo Redentor Tunnel, the serpentine path reaches an altitude of around 10,500 feet. Opened in 1980, the tunnel actually shortens the route by 6 miles, lowers the altitude by 600 meters and eliminates 65 switchbacks. This pass also receives some fairly heavy snowfall. And in an incident in 2013, Around 15,000 people were stranded when the road was closed after snowfall of almost 50 centimeters. There is also a threat of rockfall. The Chilean side is more dangerous than the Argentine one, with the steepest switchback turns as the road descends. Fairy Meadows Road, Pakistan If you are an avid mountaineer and happen to be in Pakistan, chances are you will encounter this road. You will need to brave this dangerous road to take you to the base of Nanga Parbat, the ninth highest peak in the world. It is actually a gravel track that stretches 6 miles to Fairy Meadows at the base of Nanga Parbat. The road is entirely unmaintained and there are no guardrails to protect from steep drops. The area is prone to heavy snowfall and avalanches and the road is closed during winters. The road narrows as you approach Fairy Meadows and the final section is too narrow for vehicles to pass. So it would be a better idea to ride a bike or perhaps hike on your two legs. Still keen on mountain climbing? Skipper's Canyon Road, New Zealand For starters, this is a one-lane road that twists and turns through some of New Zealand's most mountainous territory, which makes for some fairly hazardous driving conditions. Being on the side of a mountain, the road is considered as one of the country's most scenic routes. The Shorowa River runs through the valley before and offers some breathtaking photo ops. The road was originally constructed by miners for their own use, so obviously it was not made keeping tourist enjoyment in mind. It is narrow, unpaved and has some really wicked twists and drops that makes it very dangerous to navigate on foot. And by the way, did I mention that rental car insurance companies do not cover you if you go down that road. So you will be doing it entirely at your own risk. Dalton Highway, USA If you have watched the reality show Ice Road Truckers, then you would know about Dalton Highway as quite a few episodes were shot there. It's a 414 mile long stretch that goes through some pretty bleak Alaskan tundra and was open for the sole purpose of transporting oil. Over such a long stretch, you have just three gas stations 
and over a particular 240 mile stretch there are no gas stations, restaurants or any other services. Just empty IZ tundra. What more, cell phone reception is very poor as well through the entire stretch. So if you happen to get stuck there with a vehicle breakdown, well then only God can save you. The road itself is gravelly and full of potholes as most vehicles travelling on it are 18-wheeler beasts slinging eyes all around. Frigid temperatures and winter driving conditions are nothing but a disaster for drivers. Beybert of Yolu, Turkey This road connects the Turkish cities of Beybert and Of, stretching 66 miles towards the Black Sea through some fairly dangerous terrain. This road is definitely not for the faint-hearted. Some sections of the road are one lane and others are unpaved. Poor weather also adds to the challenge of driving on this route. There are 29 switchbacks and the elevation at some points exceeds 6500 feet. There are also no guardrails to prevent cars from rolling over one of the steep drops. One section is particularly bad in Chaikara. The narrow road has 13 hairpin turns and climbs from 5,616 feet to 6,767 feet in a short span of about 3 miles. That's a pretty twisty steep road and an extremely dangerous one. So friends, those are some very dangerous terrain to be driving on and one must be extremely careful on these roads. Let's hope the governments around the world do something to improve these and several other such dangerous roads to avoid further loss of life. I hope you found this video informative and would request you to slap the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you soon and thanks for watching.